Hey everybody, Why Expect the Comics and I'm back. This time I got a CBCS graded comic book that I purchased off of eBay, geez, probably months ago. If you're interested in seeing what's inside this box, stay tuned for that intro. Alright guys, so welcome back. Like I said, I ended up purchasing a CBCS graded comic book. This was probably, I want to say, back in early to mid-May. Um, ended up buying this prior to, you know, going to Virginia to do my contract, but never had the chance to actually do the unboxing. I still have packages up in the office from, like, months ago that I have, probably even some from, like, early this year that I have not, you know, unboxed yet. That's just, like, how many packages have just been piling up. Um, I've been buying stuff here and there too in between, so <laughs> stay tuned for some more upcoming videos on, uh, on, you know, purchases, but, um, gonna knock out a purchase that, you know, this came out in, this was from, sorry, I said May, this was actually in April, early April, that's what the uh, postage says on here, postage paid, April 8th, so <laughs> it's, it's been due, long overdue, um, I've already started to partially open the package, but uh, just so you can see that I haven't actually opened up the package, it's still uh, still wrapped up. So um, this was one of those like um, spur of the moment purchases. Um, earlier, you know, in the year, I had been picking up some like Sonic comic books because my son's a big fan of Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's you know associated with friends like Tails, Knuckles, and so forth. Like the whole big Sonic. Um, the Hedgehog uh, world is is huge, and it's, you know, highly collectible. Um, one evening, I was just uh, on eBay just looking around to see what uh, books are out there. I had, like, a Knuckles number one in the past that I picked up at a, you know, comic shop for, like, cover price. And I was like, well, you know, let me look around and see if I can get some cool stuff out there. Because a lot of this stuff is really, really difficult to find nowadays, especially in, you know, in really nice condition because these are heavily read. So, uh, I haven't gotten an idea yet what this book is going to be. Well, there you go. It's going to be a Sonic the Hedgehog related comic book. And um, I ended up getting this for a really good price. I don't remember exactly now what I paid for, but I want to say it was probably right around at cost to grade. If not, a little cheaper. But, um, you know, interesting packaging. They ended up... Uh, Wrapping it in um, bubble wrap, which is fine, and then uh, they put it in a it looks like a Target bag, <laughs> but uh, it looks it's secure. That's all that matters, right? We often get these uh, videos or you know posts on uh, Facebook or Instagram of like how people package stuff, and then a lot of complaining. But it's like as long as the, the book is secure or the slab is secure, who really cares? So, um, this is going to be a quick video, quick short video, that's what I like to do, is short and sweet, because I know your attention spans are, you know, quite short when it comes to watching YouTube videos, and I know there's a lot of people out there that make content, so, uh, so time is precious, but, um, this will be it, this is, oh, here we go, Knuckles, issue number one, so this is, um, Knuckles, the Dark Legion, issue number one. And uh, CBCS actually notates on there if it's a direct or uh, a newsstand copy. And uh, this is the direct edition, as you can see. It's not a newsstand. It says direct edition on there. Um, if you're not familiar with this book, this is actually uh, Knuckles. Um, if you're not familiar with Knuckles, Knuckles the Echidna is uh, one of uh, Sonic's uh, best buddies. You know, if you've played the video games, you've seen this character quite a bit. But this is his first solo series. Um, I forget how many issues the first title goes up to. It's at least 20 or 30 issues with a bunch of mini, you know, stories in between in there. But uh, this is issue number one. Um, my son has this book somewhere if he hasn't already destroyed it. But I wanted to pick this up graded because it was too good of a deal to pass up. And as you can see there, it is the yellow label there. It is signed. It's signed by um, Ken Penders, which is the... Uh, the person that wrote the story inside, and uh, you can barely see it, but it's uh, right there at the bottom. It's written in that like kind of, you know, copperish looking sharpie color. Um, not probably not the best color to use for a signature, 
but in my opinion, but um, I probably would have went with like a black. But uh, really cool to pick this up. Uh, I'll show you the back cover because I know some people like to watch, see the back covers. It says uh, "Best Friends Forever." <laughs> uh, it's just, oh my smackers! I don't know if you guys remember this from the. Uh, I think this was late '90s, early 2000s. Um, this yeah, this book came out in '97. Uh, this was pretty popular for uh, you know teenagers, teenage girls. Was the uh, smackers, the lip balm, and all that similar stuff. I do remember this quite a bit because uh, I was in um, middle school when this book came out, if I'm not mistaken. But um, really cool, Knuckles number one. Um, there is some speculation on this book whatsoever. You know, uh, the Sonic the Hedgehog um, movies have done really well. Uh, and there's talks of potentially a Knuckles and or a Tails spin-off series or movie or what have you. But um, really cool to pick this up. I think I paid 40 bucks for it, which is less than the cost of grading. Um, because I think typically it's like 24, 25 bucks to grade a modern book from CBCS. And then you pay another 25 for the um, signature verification. So, you know, I ended up getting this for... A little under grading cost which shows you there is a lot of deals out there right now um, but yeah really cool book to pick up I was really happy I picked this up so uh, that's it really short video if uh, you like this hit the thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and until next time Mark's with the comics out